In this episode, I'm going to break down the different fighting styles of Muay Thai and what it means to become a complete fighter. Welcome to Heat Trick Heavy Hitters, where Thai boxers use science to separate fact and myth and become complete fighters. There are many different Muay Thai fighting styles, but they can all be categorized into four fighting modes using four different fighting ranges or distances. A fighter's preferred combination of fighting mode and fighting range determines their overall fighting style. And in Muay Thai, we have the following four fighting modes. Aggressive, when fighters come forward using physical strength, endurance and robustness to win, like Borkow. Counter, when fighters analyze an opponent's habits and respond to outscore and damage them, like Nansak Noi. Elusive, when fighters are difficult to hit cleanly because they evasively move so well, like Lerdzilla. Tricky, when fighters fake, bait and taunt their opponents to frustrate and break them, like Sanchai. And although every fighter has a preferred mode, they'll also adapt varying degrees of the other modes too. Depending on what their opponent's style is in that moment, it's like a game of chess. In Muay Thai, we also have four fighting ranges. Long range, which includes using long kicks, teeps, and jumping techniques. Medium range, which includes long punches, long knees, and low kicks. Close range, typically including elbows, knees, hooks and uppercut punches and clinch range which includes physically holding your opponent and upright wrestling and striking. The combination of aggressive, elusive, counter or tricky fighting mode along with long, medium, close or clinch range fighting will describe every style of fighter that you'll ever encounter and the strategy that they're currently using. Now let's take a moment to cross-reference this more complete model with the typical traditional Muay Thai fighting styles. Muay Bulk fighters are mainly aggressive fighters that use a variety of ranges and techniques, such as Borkow. Muay Map fighters are mainly aggressive fighters that favour punching and low kicks, mostly working at medium and close ranges, like Anuat. Muay Thai fighters are mainly aggressive fighters that like to kick from long to medium range, such as Yodsen Klai. Muay Cow fighters are mainly aggressive fighters that like to knee from medium and clinch range, such as Pet Dung Chu. Muay Salk fighters are mainly aggressive fighters that like to elbow from close to clinch range, like Mung Thai. Muay Plum fighters are mainly aggressive clinch range fighters, like Yodvicha. Muay Femur fighters are technical fighters that use mainly elusive, counter and tricky modes at long to medium range, such as Nong O. Now understand that your style is individual to you. It depends on your build, your athletic abilities, and of course your Muay Thai technical and tactical skills at the different fighting ranges. And don't limit yourself to a labeled fighting style. You can see that the mix of possible fighting modes and ranges and using different Muay Thai techniques makes for a far more sophisticated, personalized, and fluid style definition than simply calling yourself Muay Cow, for example. Styles do make fights, but it's important to realize that no one style is the best. And although certain styles are more effective against other ones and at different ranges, the more versatile and complete fighter can adapt to the fighter that's in front of them. Complete fighters can adopt a style that messes up their opponent rather than doggedly sticking to one that just isn't working and will cost them the fight. You will have a preferred fight style where you'll spend the majority of your time, but if you take a closer look at what you instinctively do in sparring and you'll see that, oh, there I was aggressive and there I was tricky. Your style is actually temporary and in a constant state of flux. 
And here's how I train fighters to use fighting styles well. First understand that we begin with a mindset, an attitude, and then everything just falls into place. And I use this when I'm training people in sparring or during pad work. I literally say to them, now you're in aggressive mode. Throw the combo, jab, cross, hook, you're aggressive. Now you're elusive. Throw jab, cross, hook, now what happens? It's the same combo, but the way you move, your footwork, your distance, your attitude, it completely changes. Just from that little dial in your head going from aggressive to elusive. It's simple and it completely changes how you move and how you fight. You can mess people up. You can throw exactly the same stuff, but just having a different mindset as you throw it, it completely changes things. So now with more freedom, say in sparring, switch your fight mode or attitude during a round and also decide which range you'd like to work at. This really starts to mess up your opponent. One minute you're elusive at long range and then suddenly switch to aggressive at close range before seesawing back to elusive again. Play with it, see what works well for you and against which type of opponent. Here are some ideas. Aggressive works well against tricky. Tricky works well against counter. Elusive and counter works well against aggressive. Also, test which range you're best at and your opponent is weakest and take the fight there. That's how I coach fighting style with fighters and how it can work in the ring when cornering fighters too. In training, you can drill attacking combos and defensive techniques with a different fighting mode or mental attitude selected and develop your Muay Thai striking weapons and defensive habits of different ranges too. Then play with adopting different fight modes and different ranges in sparring. And once you get this habit, you'll be surprised how easy it is to pull this off in a fight. If you like these tips, please hit the like button below, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. And I'd love to hear your feedback. So please leave me some comments below and let me know if you'll use these tips and what you thought of this episode. Thank you, and I'll catch you next time.